Good morning, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. It is our final day here at Mission Hills, China, the largest golf resort in the world. We are playing the World Cup course today, and that is at the Shenzhen Clubhouse that's right next to the hotel, so we don't have to take a shuttle this morning. It is currently 6 a.m. We're about to go get some breakfast and then head out to the golf course. We've been up since like 3 a.m. thanks to jet lag, and this is a little golf travel tip for everyone. If you live in the East Coast of North America and you are traveling to Asia, Southeast Asia, you're likely gonna have a 12 to 14 hour time difference, which is straight day and night. I would recommend you do what we did, which is book the earliest tea time you can because you're naturally gonna be awake at like 2, 3 a.m. We've been awake for a while. At 7, 8 a.m., it's still dinner time at home, so your brain is still awake and you'll finish the round at around midnight or just after midnight. That is when your brain starts getting cloudy and you wanna fall asleep. So you wanna get your round in before lunch preferably and then in the afternoons you can kind of relax and I would recommend going to sleep the first day and then trying to push back two hours at a time instead of just going straight because your brain's gonna wake up anyways. That's a little golf travel tip. We're gonna go have breakfast and then head out to the golf course. Hopefully we can tee up even earlier than our actual tea time. Our tea time was supposed to be 7.40 a.m. but we're gonna try to get out at seven so we can come back in time for checkout. The World Cup course was designed by Jack Nicklaus in 1994 and named after the 41st World Cup of Golf in 1995. There are a total of 87 bunkers. You'll get a closer look at quite a few of them in this video. Hole number one, par four, 310 yards with bunkers on the left and a couple large bunkers about 200 yards out. Exhibit A. And yes, there is a hidden bunker behind the green. Hopefully this is some relatable content, let's move on. Hole number two, a par five, 477 yards, dog leg right. The bunkers begin at just the right drivable distance for most people. It's early, we gotta pick it up. <laughs> Hole number three, par four, 298 yards, big dog leg right. Off the tee, it's best to aim just left of the far bunkers. I've been hitting this high fade with my winter golf swing. It goes away in the upcoming videos, as well as better bunker shots. So make sure to subscribe. Saku. Yoda. Oh. Hole number four, par four, 319 yards, water on the right past the big bunker. Water on the left also where the fairway narrows. Oh, 
I hope it shows on the screen because this is truly a beautiful golf course. The tree lines make it feel like you are in nature. Oh, and there's a wild cat just chilling. Hole number 5, par 3, 178 yards, but playing from the red tees at 150. From here on out, the white tees got put on the red tee deck, so starting on hole 6, we actually started playing from the blue tees because the white tees were under maintenance. Sun looks like a moon. Hole number 6, par 5, 447 yards from the blue tees. The green is straight ahead with a few bunkers along the way. Playing from the blues is actually good because a lot of people play from the blue tees and so you guys can actually see the golf course more completely. And don't worry, it's a little more challenging for me but we kept very good pace. Yep. This was when I realized just how large and slow some of these greens are. Hole number 7, par 4, 358 yards, dogleg right. Ideally, don't go in the massive cluster of bunkers. Hole number eight, par three, one hundred and twenty seven yards. I have 8 iron in hand. Hole number 9, long par 4, 406 yards. The fairway slopes towards the tree line on the left. This green is massive. I literally hammered this putt, <laughs> but it wasn't enough. On to the back nine, hole number 10, par 4, 375 yards over a pond off the tee. The bunkers on the right are about 160 to 180, so they shouldn't be a problem. Definitely stay out of the trees here because they are quite dense. Thin to win, they say. And again, I miscalculated how slow these screens are. Hole number 11, par 5, 504 yards. Straight forward off the tee to a pretty open fairway. Okay. Fairway. Mm. There is a pond and a huge bunker in front of the green in case you are interested in going for the green in two. Yeah. 
Hole number 12, par 4, 393 yards, dogleg right around the trees. I lifted up on the shot and hit a high, weak fade. I really thought I had this one. <laughs> Hole number 13 is a beautiful par 3 over water, 142 yards. Believe it or not, this is the handicap 18 hole on this golf course. Hole number 14, another beautiful hole, par 4, 380 yards, slight dog leg left. It's safe to aim at the first bunker on the left. Going right accidentally like I did will make this a much longer golf hole, especially with three bunkers in front of the green for your approach shot. Okay. Hole number 15, par 3, 167 yards. I'm hitting 5 iron here. Going for the center left of the green because you see all the bunkers. The green slopes down towards the bunker so you can go for that backspin shot if that's okay. in your bag. Okay. Hole number 16, par 5, 486 yards. The fairway slopes to the right here, so aim for the left bunkers and it will kick back down. There is a giant water hazard on the right side past the big bunker. Water goes all the way up to the green. As the handicap two hole, you'll need three perfect shots to get on this green in regulation. See how the green hits the brakes on these putts? I'm sure this is a temporary issue. Hole number 17 is a long par 4, for me at least, 421 yards. Fairway goes up and back down again on the other side. Over 180 yards or so, you will get over the hill and have a better look at the green. I push this shot to the right a bit, but it's safe, playing it as a par 5. And final hole number 18, par 4, 392 yards, dog leg left. Water on the left, so don't go left off the tee. Guys, look at these mansions. After the water hazard ends, there are multiple bunkers leading up to the green. Let me show you real quick. I must say, I am really happy with this bunker shot. These long bunker shots with a huge lip to go over are very challenging, and I'm quite proud with how I did here.
I don't know how many bunkers I entered. Let me know in the comments if you counted for me. Thanks. Jack Nicholas loves toying with the line between annoyingly challenging and enjoyable golf courses, and he's done it again here at Mission Hills. The founder of Mission Hills. And that's a wrap on the Jack Nicholas designed World Cup course here at Mission Hills. The golf course is absolutely beautiful. It, there's a lot of trees all around, but it doesn't feel enclosed at all. It actually feels quite open, although there are lots of bunkers. So one thing to know is that the bunkers have a huge lip. Even on the fairways, I would recommend, you know, taking a higher iron because you're likely not going to get out of them. And if you're near the fairway, bring a lob wedge. Trust me, these bunkers are deeper than I am tall so a lot of the times I can't even see over the lip and that is definitely a challenge. I wouldn't say I played the best today but also not mad because it is quite a difficult golf course. The thing is right now the greens they've recently aerated them and there's a lot of sand so the speed is quite inconsistent but for the most part on the much slower side. The fairways are really well maintained they're nice and soft. Overall really enjoy this course actually enjoy this more than the Faldo course. I would recommend playing the courses that are at the Shenzhen Clubhouse because it is like 10 feet walk right out the front door of the hotel down the hill and you're at the clubhouse so it's very convenient you can tee up really early and not have to wake up too much earlier than that with that make sure to check out my faldo course vlog from previously and make sure to hit the subscribe button down below because i have a lot more golf and travel content across asia for you guys and around the world for the future hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video comment down below again if you've played this golf course if you've played any of the other 12 golf courses on this massive golf resort all right thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video. Bye.